Paul Watson, I want to shift gears now into because if we just cover this by itself, it 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 it, it doesn't bring the full import of what we're facing. They are creating class warfare and envy. And in the U.S., in England, they have similar programs. They say, does your neighbor look like they have more money than they should? Find out what job they've got. Ask them what their salary is and call police. You'll get a percentage of anything seized from black market business, uh, garage sale money, uh, co coin collections they've sold, drugs. You know, they, And there's, this is all under Homeland Security here and in England. They're, they're taking the anti-terror system they've set up and the spy networks. They sell the public on, we're going to have spies, we need citizens tattling, we're listening to your phones without warrants, but it's to fight al-Qaeda. You don't want al-Qaeda to attack, do you? You saw 7-7, you saw 9-11. Now they just admit here in the U.S. and overseas, spy on your neighbors, spy on gun owners. If your neighbor has a gun, call the police on them, the billboards say, when the guns aren't illegal. I mean, it's getting bad, and... and Guys, pull this up on screen for folks that are watching at PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, it says, a police encourage citizens to report people who drive nice cars. I want them to see the picture of the police chiefs and people smiling like criminals. I mean, they know this is asinine. It's a big joke to them. If you criticize open borders, you'll be arrested. Uh, you know, uh, uh, it shows on here a poster of a guy in a suit saying, too much bling, give us a ring. And it says, bling, call the police immediately if your neighbor has a boat or a nice car. Uh, it says, in this recession, you're not supposed to have money. Paul Watson, this is creating class warfare. This is communism. This is what the Reds did. They said, arrest your neighbor. He's rich. Get him. Uh, I mean, th Paul, it's happening. I can't even believe this. Well, top um, political scientists are now just saying that the U.K. is a totalitarian state. There's no doubt about it anymore. And this is a campaign by... Gloucestershire police force who incidentally were the same police force who arrested um, Robin Page for saying that farming groups should have the same rights as Muslims and homosexuals they're also the same police force that set up Operation Napkin which is where they sent out police officers to sit in curry houses and uh, spy on people's conversations to check if they had uh, if they said any racial terms and arrests were made who is this demon in the middle? I mean, he looks like the epitome of a thug, of a jackboot. I mean, that guy would be, if I was a big filmmaker making a new 1984, he would be an inter-party official. I mean, I would come to him and say, we want to cast you as a piece of absolute degenerate parasitical trash. It looks like the chief constable to me, but I'm not sure. But, yeah, they, it's a campaign put out by the police which encourages people to report on other citizens who drive nice cars or buy expensive items. This is just meant to get everybody tattling on everybody. Stay there, Paul. One more segment. I want to get Kurt Nemo's take on this. And they're doing the same stuff here. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, they are moving on everybody full force. They're not just saying Michael Savage will be arrested if he comes to England. I mean, they're going after me. They're shutting me off everywhere. I mean, we're under attack because these people mean to make us their slaves, and they know that some of us aren't going along with it.